Welcome to the Singapore Management University podcast series where we feature the latest insights and perspectives from our faculty. Renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power have made it possible for us to generate electricity in more environmentally friendly ways. With a substantial decline in the costs of renewable technologies in recent years, the renewable industry has reached a fundamentally new stage in its development. A growing number of countries are adopting policies to encourage the growth of renewables and major businesses are embracing renewable energy in a big way. However, the proliferation of renewable energy installations can also lead to unintended consequences. One such concern is negative energy prices. Helen Zhou is an assistant professor of operations management at the SMU Lee Kong Chien School of Business, specializing in energy and sustainable operations research. In this podcast, she discusses the findings of her research on renewable energy operations. She believes that having a good understanding of how negative electricity prices drive economic incentives can help policymakers and energy merchants make better decisions. Professor Zhou, I understand that you have been researching on sustainable operations for the last decade. What inspires you to choose this area of research? There are many three reasons. The first is that sustainability the word itself says it all that uh, it matters to the lives and the economy of not just us, but those of our children, our grandchildren, or many generations to come. And I mainly focus on two areas in sustainability, sustainable energy operations and sustainable agriculture. And these two are the biggest economy. So that's why I choose these two in sustainability. The second reason is because um, it's an evolving area, has a lot of interesting questions, and it really mentally challenged me to explore how things really work because the new technology of the um, new business model, etc. And also, it challenges me to think about how to make things better and to optimize them. That's exactly what we do in operations management, how to optimize the process, everything. And the third reason is because it's very personally fulfilling and it aligns with my goal of doing something good to the society and so that uh, I leave the world a better place than I found it. In a recent paper published, you found that government policies used to promote renewable energy may in fact bring about undesirable consequences. Can you tell us about this research? Yes, this is some research that I have conducted with my uh, colleagues from Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, and this research has now appeared in Management Science, published in 2016. And the title is Electricity Trading and Negative Prices, Storage versus Disposal. So in short, this um, unintended consequences due to government policy promoting renewable energy, even if the electricity at that time may not necessarily be needed. Um, and this will exacerbate a unique ph phenomenon. To make it worse, the unique phenomenon that's in the electricity market, which is negative electricity prices. This means that renewable energy could bid a negative price and they still make a profit. So these are the two reasons. And because the negative prices have significant implications on uh, the market behavior and how market players would act. And because of the frequency and magnitude of these negative prices, what we found in that paper is that it could potentially incentivize the market players to use devices to buy electricity as much as possible when price is negative for the sake of disposing of them. And this is what we call the disposable strategy. And we compare this disposable strategy with the usual strategy of dealing with electric surplus, which is the storage strategy. Uh, in this storage strategy, you buy electricity when prices are low and sell them back when the electricity prices are higher. This is the storage strategy. We compare that disposal strategy with the storage strategy. We found that when negative prices occur 10% of the time, which is already occurring in some markets, when that happens, the disposable strategy is as profitable as the uh, storage strategy, partly also because 
the devices used for disposal strategies are much cheaper than the devices used for the storage strategy. So these are their findings. What does this mean for governments? For the government, in order to prevent such disposal strategy to be commonly adopted, they can follow three different approaches. First is try to promote the storage strategy. Second is to modify the PTC, which is the production tax credit, uh, to generate renewable energy only if it is needed. The third is to allow the wind energy and other renewable energy to be potentially curtailed when it is not needed. Because if you produce them when it's not needed, they, they will be um, bought up and disposed anyway. So what's the point of um, producing them in the first place? So these are the findings for the first paper. I understand that with the same collaborators, you've done further research that examines the issue of negative energy prices. Can you tell us more? Uh, this paper is about uh, the managing of the wind-based electricity generation in the presence of storage and transmission capacity uh, with the possibility of negative electricity price, which I mentioned earlier, occurs uh, in almost every single market in the U.S. and in many also markets in Europe as well. This paper is currently under revision for a uh, journal called Production Operations Management. In this second paper that I look at the optimization of uh, wind-based electricity generation in the presence of storage and transmission capacity, I discuss how a merchant who trades renewable energy in the market uh, should optimize the operations with the possibility of negative electricity prices. Uh, in this paper, the key takeaway for the merchant, for these traders in the market, is that when you do this trading, what matters is not simply the prices, um, but also how much electricity you have in, in your storage facility, which determines how much space you have left to buy electricity in the future when price become negative. So uh, if you take that into account, even if you use a very simple heuristic, you could still reap a significant portion of the optimal profit. What other projects are you currently working on? Currently, I'm examining the environmental impact of um, a commercial user adopting energy storage in their business. For instance, if SMU put a gigantic industry battery in the basement of SMU and try to minimize the electricity bill for each month, how is that going to affect the environment? Is it going to increase emission or is it going to decrease emission? And currently, I have the data for 77 commercial buildings in the U.S., 54 in New York City, and 23 in Los Angeles. Thank you, Professor. It's my great pleasure.